Okay, YouTubers, another quick game of Interplanetary I Spy here. Really quick one. Now, this is an image from Sol1433. I've got the page up here. Uh, here we go. That's not it. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the page for 1433, and there's lots of stuff in these images. Um, links will be below, as usual. I think the image we're looking at is one of these down here. Uh, where is it? I think it may be this one. Uh, but... I'll show you it in the folder anyway, and there will be a link, so uh, you can download it yourself and check it out, okay? Here we are. Now, I call this the one inch alien. Now, uh, let me show you the raw image first, because there it is. And you've got lots of small fragments of rock here on the edge of this slope, okay? This is near the bottom of the slope, and... These are really quite small. It's very deceptive when you look at these images, and it does help if you look at the gigapan. Um, so literally, uh, the, this rock here is probably only about five inches or six inches maximum, okay, from here to here. Uh, so these are very small. And we have here, just here, what looks like a little creature, okay? Now, I, I appreciate that it looks pixelated. So what I will do is I will show you a couple of enhancements of it where I've brought the detail out for you to show the image in its best light. Of course, when you're looking at these things on a mobile device, they, you can't always see them very well, even though you might have a very good screen on it. Um, a lot of people will zoom in too close to things and they pixelate too much. I try and set sit back a little bit where you can see the image in its best light, okay? And here it is. This is a complete, completely raw clip, nothing done to this at all, okay? And that's just clipped straight out of the the, uh, the raw image from the NASA website. And you have this little thing that like, looks like it's got a beak, an eye, possible limbs sticking out here. Very odd indeed. Now, it, of course, this may just be a rock, but when I show you the enhancements, which I'm going to do now, let me show you this one, where I've basically colour corrected it and up the contrast, okay? Uh, let's go in a little bit closer. You can see this looks like a beak and an eye, okay? And if you look really carefully, you can see two white lines sticking up here, which look like tiny little horns, which is very odd indeed, okay? Let me show you some later enhancements. This one, I think, is the last one I did, which is much darker. Anyway, that might be clearer for you, and a bit closer as well. You can see these two little white horn things sticking up. Now, that may be down to image degradation, don't know, but there must be something there giving off a signature for that to pick up. Uh, it may be slightly exaggerated. It's a bit reflective, the top of this thing. Uh, its head, or whatever you want to call it, it's quite reflective. And it's a bit vague. I know this looks like a head with a neck going into a, almost like a shell here. Could this be a shell? Could this be some kind of turtle? Some kind of tortoise or, or some kind of weird reptile type creature that's kind of poking its head out from behind something or from inside of something? Could this be some kind of shelled creature? Don't know. Are these limbs? Now, unfortunately, if you get too close to it, it does kind of blur out. Let's go back a bit to one of the earlier um, clips a bit further back and, and to see if you can make out I mean, what this is, I don't know. Now this horse almost to me looks like an arm here and a leg here and it's kind of sitting on the back of this rock, on, on this sort of ledge here. Very odd indeed. Um, it's, it's, there's not in quite enough detail to, to see what's going on here because basically it's a low res camera. It's only like a, uh, well, it's like a 1.6 megapixel camera. They call it two, but it's under two. Um, and also this thing is very, very small indeed. This thing is literally, when you look at the, the uh, source image here, it's one of the smallest things in the image. Uh, it's probably only about a centimeter or two. It's probably less than an inch, okay? Uh, I would say about half an inch to three quarters, per perhaps, from here to here. So this is very small indeed. Okay, this is why we're not seeing a lot of detail because it's just way too small. Uh, of course, if the camera was zoomed in on it and was focused properly, we would see detail, of course, but the mass camera only does that on the Curiosity. It just takes general shots of everything, 
which are then later stitched together to make panoramics. So um, it, you often don't see a great deal of detail in these things, but sometimes it does help to look at these things from further back um, because your eyes will actually blend the pixels together for you and make it smoother and um, easier to look at. Here's a brighter version of it here. Okay, so is this a, a creature with a beak and an eye and two little tiny horns and its head here and a neck going into some kind of shell or are these limbs sticking out? They do look kind of fuzzy. Very strange, very strange indeed. So answers on the postcard as usual. Um, I don't know what it is, I'm just kind of guessing here. Um, so if any of you guys and girls out there know what you think this might be, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Clips coming up now.